I think we should talk about Fear Street. Fuck yeah. Why not? Like I said, what a week in horror it has been. <laughs> yeah, the hey, um, we love horror. I tell you what, are, these the movies are, are life. These nuts. Oh. You know the support goes. Uh, I don't say no to Vinci. You boy ATX and Space Bikes. Low key as me. <laughs> yeah. Trying to figure shit out. <laughs> this changed my life forever. So yeah. I think we should talk about Fear Street. <laughs> Two pieces of shit have put me on some <laughs> good horror hey, movies like hey, the last three be. they did. The last, the last three be. they did. The last Fear Street. The last three be. they did. <laughs> three. Hey. Yo. Welcome to Guts Podcast. This is Zeno the Vision. Space Viking. Loki as me. It's the Guts Podcast on, on the, the Dread, Dread Central, Central Network. Network. Caca. Ow. So yeah. Yeah. Hey, everybody in TV land. <laughs> we what? got some shit for y'all. We got some bangers. Welcome to Guts Podcast, the home of horror, and what a week in horror it has been. <laughs> <laughs> We've been drinking bangs all day. We yeah. mix bangs with fucking Starbucks. No shit. I've got Coffee. three heart palpitations on fleek right now. Man, I want to know what the, your shit is going to be like red and brown when they come out. No, hey, no Dope. jalapenos. Hell yeah. That's just- Last night I drank two bangs, five BC powders, and did donuts in reverse <laughs> in my expedition. <laughs> reverse donuts. Ended up in the church parking lot, pissing in my own mouth. Yeah. Hey, how the fuck? And like people say, how the fuck? How the fuck do you eat this damn corn and that shit come out whole? Exactly. What the fuck? Yeah. It happened to me with a shrimp one time. <laughs> Isn't there something about that with cows and corn? I think so. Yeah, cows aren't supposed to eat corn. No shit. Yep. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. What the hell? And, and we feed them cornmeal. Yeah, feed them uh, all kind of shit. They're, not, so they're supposed they like, to eat grass. Shit, we used to feed them cows. That's how we got yeah, cow, no bat, mad cow disease. No shit. Oh. Feeding them his own self. Cannibal That's cows. Cannibal Damn, cows. It's like a pig. A pig will eat everything. Slop shit. Fuck yeah. You. You ever seen Snatch? These nuts. Was that Snatch or Lock, Lock Stock and Two Smoking Barrels? Snatch. I think that was Snatch, right? Shit, I seen Hannibal. Oh, All yeah. I need to see. Fucking yeah. hog heaven. So, I think we should talk about Fear Street. Fuck yeah. Why not? Like I said, what a week in horror it has been. <laughs> yeah. The, hey, um, the fuck put that shit out, man? Dude, that's dope. I'll Netflix. tell you what. You know what these, who's like the director? These nuts. Oh. I tell you one thing, these two pieces of shit have put me on some <laughs> good horror hey, movies like hey, the last three been, they did hey, was the burning. With them yeah, the burning, which is my new favorite campy shit. Oh yeah, burning yeah. is dope. And then Fear Street yeah. first yeah, and second episode. The um yeah, the I was surprised actually by Fear Street because yeah. it's like I know the books were supposed to be like a teenage version of some Goosebumps type boppy, shit. So I thought shit. it was going to be on some teeny bopper shit, yeah. and it kind of was, but the kills were yeah. dope. And it, it is horror. It that's what I'm saying. The way it looks, so the way like the color looks, yeah. and the way it's shot, as far as like not the edits and shit, but as ways the camera looks. Yeah, it looks like one of those Nickelodeon movies yeah, from the definitely. Jump Street, right? It, yeah, it, it it's like a Nickelodeon movie where somebody's head goes through a fucking bus saw. No yeah, shit. well, it looks like that. That's dope. That's dope. Have you seen ass. the Scream Nickelodeon thing? I mean, uh, the Scream the MTV, uh, MTV, MTV thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah it yeah, looks yeah, like, it that. Look like that. But when they start cursing and yeah, you know, foul shit, yeah, jamming shit in people's fucking throats and, and shit, it's like what? The soundtrack is lit, dog. The soundtrack was badass. The colors was like, yeah. man, everything was 1994. Like, and the, the kills team. were dope. If they didn't make those kills dope like that, it's, yeah. it's not the same, I don't think. And then they pay homage to Scream in the beginning. Yeah. And the story is dope. Kill, huh? Bro, in in yeah. two minutes, they, they had Cypress Hill, yeah. Nirvana, yeah. Uh, Green Nine Day, Inch, Nine Inch Nails. Nine Inch Nails Fucking, uh, <laughs> what's the, the creep? Everything I used to like to pretend to cut my leg with in high school and walk around going, look, I'm a cutter. No yeah, shit. I'm a cutter. Yeah, I mean, in one of the episodes, the chick was a cutter. Oh, yeah. But that's what I was a, I was a pretend cutter. And then, yeah, you think you're a cutter till you meet a real cutter. Like, I used to do yeah. that erase like, shit on your arms in school. I was only a cutter when I was 10 beers and two Mad Dog 2020s in. Everybody's and wanted to be super burn. cool. Where, where yeah. are the burn eraser kids right now? They used to burn eraser marks on their arms in school. Man. I, I, that's, well, they you should do it right there on your it. forearm. I tattooed over yeah. it, but right there, I'd be yeah. like, 
thinking I was cool putting cigarettes out. Man, on what the fuck shit. was that about? But anyway, I just needed to love. We're yeah, children. Know, right? We were but children. anyway, so I like the fact that they went reverse I mean, decades. So if you want to say, yeah. went from ninety four to seventy eight, I Dumb. think that was so badass. Yeah. And like we were saying before, that they didn't leave anything to question. They no. tied it all together yeah. really, really good and really, really complete. Well, Definitely. what I like is Even the about note. the story is it's a slasher, but it's also on some like witch shit. Yeah. I love witches, man. Yeah. Witches give me the creeps, dude. That, that shit was, I like, that I like shit movie witches. I don't like real life witches. Man. Because you think it's going to be like some bad bitch like wearing black. And, yeah. And it's but not. it's really some like hippie chick with no shoes on in Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> and that's exactly trying what to buy, gave Trying <laughs> to buy whole grain granola. And the one that want to fight you like for not shit. wearing mask and shit. Yeah. <laughs> She's <laughs> out fighting for not wearing masks. She smells like shit. <laughs> and her husband's name Shiloh. <laughs> no shit. That's man. what a that's what a witch really is. Yeah, uh, yeah. And she the main one fighting on the aisles. Don't want to wear the mask. Nah, I got a yeah. couple. I got a couple witch homies that are dope, dog. Shout out to my homie Chrissy. Nah, they they cool, but it's it's the fact. I like the fact how they played off the uh, when the, when the chick crashed and then the blood going into the uh, earth and it kind of summoned Fuck the yeah. girl up. Yeah, that, that shit to me is like you fed the witch, so now nah, it's like. And you were wondering, like, before, like, why the hell are they after this chick? Like, what's going on? And so bro, he, I thought the backdrop was, like, there was a grandmother or something, blah, blah, blah. But then these killers start coming about, and all the, of them were the dope. The killers were dope. Yeah. Dude. All of them and were dope. And when they added that element into the movie to where, like, when you get the blood on you, that's yeah. when you... When you add that into the movie, yes. you don't really realize it, but you get, become more interested in the movie because yeah, yeah. you're looking for little shit. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. she got the blood on her. She got the blood on her, you know? So that's, I mean, they were super smart about it. Obviously. They, Which one did y'all, so we've only, they've only had the two, two that yeah. are out. The third one hadn't come out yet. So I guess we'll talk about that one at a latter date. Yeah. But out of 1994 and 1970, whatever the fuck it was, was it 76 or 78? 78. 1978. 78. Which, <laughs> 78. Yeah. 78. Which one did y'all like better? Man, I think 78, man. I like I, 94. I, I like 78, um... Damn, they both had good ass kills though. But the yeah. fact seventy eight was killing kids and shit, like they were killing campers, man. Dude, that axe when it showed the axe going back into the head, like yeah. he, he popped her with it with an axe and then goes back to yeah. it. Boom, she boom, just, and she just like on the ground Yo, catching it. Nah, that, that was nutty. That was crazy. But that but that uh that nine four had the uh, that showed you more of the slasher chick. Yeah, and you want to know the backdrops of these people. Cause what what's up with the dude that's in the water with the mask? Yeah, for that real. Dude looked that was he was in the fifties or something. But I hope they go through and like do a whole thing about all those. Yeah, killers. man. Well, from that, what the preview said, it looks like they're going to. They're gonna I hope show so. who like. That's what I, what I was saying. Like the the kid with the kid mask, the yeah, fucked up, exactly. or that hot chick. Why is that hot chick that hot chick? Why exactly. is she her? You and know what's up with the guy that like when when she was running and and, and I think seventy eight. And he caught her. Who the hell is that? Because I think he was murdering his wife or somebody in the front yeah. yard. And you could kind of see his face, but it looks yeah. like you talk about that dude yes. with the knife. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Where old other fuck up with him. So and that's one of the crazy scenes. Like, so he's going to work with the knife, and old boy is next to him, just fucking mowing Man, down with that ass. That shit up. Fucking her hey, up. You should go back and edit that part out about the witches. I don't want to get a curse tonight. <laughs> don't curse me. Don't curse it. Man, they hey, cursed no, our boy. I, for real, I know some witches for real, though. Hey, shout out to my homegirls. I, well, I love y'all. That, his name is Low Key as Me. He works at the Avant Garden. He's a <laughs> hey, DJ. Hey, I want to know how our boy Daniel doing, man. You remember he got cursed by the witch? Oh, yeah. Boy going, the, really? She said, she said you're going to have a two-inch penis. He's like, oh, it's too late for that. So what's the next <laughs> curse? <laughs> Bro, I, I told y'all about that shit at Avant Garden when he, she made it rain. Oh, no shit. No, it was a dude Wait, Between the legs or actually through Bro. the sky? I'm telling you, oh, to this day, that is the most bone chilling thing. He did it twice. And, bro, y'all ready for this? Y'all sit down for a second. You're already sitting down. We're going to stand up because we're sitting right. down. I just need you to shut the fuck we're gonna up. We're going to do the right. wave. I need the we're mic. The wave, I need the mic for about two minutes. So, look, I'm at, we used to have this thing called Thorn and Moon Witch Market. Y'all remember it? Yeah. It still goes on. It doesn't do it no more. They're not at Avant. They do right. it somewhere else. Okay. So. They got all these witches, you know, and they're doing they, they, some some people selling soap, some people selling CBD, honey and shit. But yeah. then there's like there's talks around the place where they say this dude David's coming oh, and yeah. it's like whispers. He's coming. He's coming like and bro, when he walks in, 
it's like a different energy. Like yeah. he's not with the selling shit or making fucking po- he ain't about that bullshit. He's a pickpocket. Hey, well, quit snitching on him and let's yeah, get back no to shit. Fear you Street. Get, what's his social security while you at it? <laughs> you're gonna right get a the last four on, digits of your this CD motherfucker your... made it rain. And you... Bro, I'm telling you, he made it rain. I could make it rain too. They catch me at the strip club doing that often. Ever since then, <laughs> I make it rain. About to say, ever since then, they call him Young Jeezy. <laughs> I make it rain. I'm no witch. <laughs> but yeah, so so you pick, you pick, you in between Yo, too. You I, 74. I like them both. You I like, like them both, fine. So I like the music yes. and the kills. I think I'm 94 better because I, I never went to, to well, the summer camp thing, they did it well. They did it real well. But that well. shit has been beaten to death with a fucking horse. Or how, does, yeah. how do you say that? Beaten to death. Yeah, hey, that's what it is. It was beating to death with a horse. Yeah. yeah. So the uh... <laughs> beating to death with a horse, not a dead horse. Beating yeah. a dead horse. Yeah, you beat him to death with a horse all your goddamn life, and then you're like, <laughs> so where, where, where are we? No wonder I'm pissing him. This mouth horse in meat tra- tastes lot. like tranquilizer pills. But what? the the I still thought seventy eight was dope as fuck. Yeah. But the um, and I loved the the story too. But I like the first one better. I never went to summer camp, man. I'm not a summer camp type kid. Yeah, I was more yeah. of like a, oh, shit, I haven't been home in four days type kid. I'm on the I couch. I actually got to go to camp, and that shit reminded me of 78. It was a few kills in there, but it was it was imaginary kills. Back to my Sarah Parker. <laughs> yeah. <thoughts. laughs> well, the 94 thing, what it did for me is I wanted – when I was young and during 94, yeah. bro, I wanted to live. It's like brought back like weird memories. I wanted to, like when Screen came out, bro, mm-hmm. I wanted to live in a neighborhood like that. Yeah, no like, shit. I did, right. I, I was so far from that, yeah. you know, and I wanted to be uh, like, yeah. man, it was just the shit, yeah. you know? Yeah. Towards like this little insulated thing. And there was like, I don't know, man. There, there were some kids that went to my school that had it like that. You yeah. You know what I'm saying? And we'd be like, one of them would, uh, her name was Justy, and she'd throw a party, and like yeah. everyone would go. I'd be like in that motherfucker. Like, Anyways, so I, w- yeah. I want to know. Now that's how to make me remember. Like, okay, cause standing in Third Ward, you were on one side of our meter. You were zoned to Lamar, and you were zoned to Yakes on the other side. Of course, I was zoned to Yakes and Ryan and all the wild and New Jack City schools. So if you go to Lamar from Third Ward, you probably was like the shady side. Probably. They probably used to yeah. hate to see them. Third you were shady kids. side. And they then probably they was... hate to see them third world kids come and be like, "Oh shit, here these motherfuckers come." Yeah, blending in with us over here in the River Oaks area. Fuck yeah. And them boys and the stories I hear from Lamar, they was like, "Bro, you should have went. You should have used a different address because we like we ran the school because they yeah. like, oh, that's them a dudes. bunch of Sunny Sunnyvale motherfuckers. Yeah, that's them Sunny. They getting conf- yeah. obviously you got to get bust over there. It's a bunch of shit going on, but that. You know, and then like you say, the times of the music in nine four. I I, I like the how they did that though. They have like yeah. you know the shady side yeah. and the sunny veil. Yeah. It's like red and blue. I I I, I dig that because I definitely would have been a and you saw how they kind of like put, they kind of like put stuff in there like you know they finna sell this stuff. I watched how the camera work went. Oh they yeah, showed the seventy eight camp shirts. I bet those Hot Topic is already filled with those goddamn. Yes. Oh, the color war the shirts. Color war shirts. Yeah. yeah. And definitely the Nikes old girl had on because they wouldn't waste their time of her walking across the campground and they zoom in on her. Were they Cortezes? They would. They look like these. Um, man, I want to say they kind of look like the Daybreaks that I've been rocking lately. But it's it's gonna be something Nike, yeah. Because they, cause just how they did with Stranger Things, all of a sudden all these Nikes dropping for Stranger Things. You, so you know what I liked about '78 a lot was uh, Ziggy, that character Ziggy. Man. Yeah, yeah. You know, Ziggy I, was a beast, man. Yeah, the uh, Ziggy reminded me like she could be like. Is that the red hair? The, yeah, the red yeah. head. She definitely could be part of like the McGill. Uh, oh yeah, family man. No, yeah, definitely <laughs> like my aunts and my sister. Yeah. Bunch of crazy redheads in my family. But Just shout out to the, the sweet. Yeah, what's her name? That she played that. Hold on, uh, Fear Street. Fear Street Ziggy. Street cool girl. Name. That girl's a good actor. So did you get? Did stuff, you right? get who the officer was? Oh yeah, Sadie Sink. Sink. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, Sadie Sink. Oh yeah, she's nineteen. Wow. Yeah, she's she's been, not weird. She's been in a lot of shit lately too. No shit. She could act her fucking ass yeah. off. Yeah. She was cold, man. Yeah, she she really I re, she really played that character well. So I so which of course everybody ninety four, which one uh you thought had the best kills, bro? Oh, 94, bro. 94? Dude, that is it just you, that dude, one kill? I don't or? think there's ever gonna it, like in the series. I don't think you can top 
the head going through the fucking cheese grater. That's thing. wild, you think bro. that's going to survive, That dude. shit. That's man. what I'm saying. You yeah. thought she was going to make. And that was before we saw all the other parts yes. of the movie. Yes. So we thought, the, like, because when you watch 74, you're expecting some of the main characters to die. But yeah. this, you didn't expect no, that. Yeah. yeah. Well, you that's weren't ready for that That's one. the thing with, with that's about it, because it looks like a teeny bopper thing, and you think mm-hmm. at the end of the half hour, it's going to be happy. Yeah. Everybody gets fucking killed. Yeah. yeah. When they killed the head, the cheerleader chick, yeah. I was like, yo. Yeah. Wow, they're going to kill these kids, yeah. man. They and went then, past and then, like, the they're selling dope at school and shit. Yeah, no you know? shit. Well, bro, yeah. The very first scene, that, that one scene where... Oh, boy's got a hole in his head, and he's laying next to the girl that he yeah. just stabbed up. Yeah. And it, the, he's gushing, bro. He's leaking, leaking, yeah. leaking. Yeah. That just sets the tone That's where you're it, like, yeah. God it damn, dude, up, we man. in a different world fucking yeah. but Santa even, Claus. Even in the store when the guy was, like, running from the guy, he was running with the kid. They run down the aisle, and he, like, you know, kind of like they got away, and it's all of a sudden just a axe Fuck, yeah. through the head, man. Wow. It's like... Like you say, man, these are the characters that normally in movies, you're like, okay, yeah, the cheerleader, of course she's going to make it. Of course she's going to survive. Because when she was fighting them, I'm like, oh, yeah, here you go. She about to she about to do some ninja stuff that we never knew she took yeah. back in middle school. It's Head usually a, a main bread. four or five that survive. Like, if yeah. there's a group, there's a main four or yeah. five that survive. Yeah, that you know going to make like it. Like, it's the badass. All of them. The it's the badass girl, the badass dude, the yeah. cheerleader, the nerd. Yeah. And the one that wants to fuck the cheerleader. Yeah, exactly. Me- me- remember when the internet was brand new? The- you know why I like 94 too? It's because I wasn't around in the 70s. A-L-L. But I remember 94 like going to the library because the internet was brand fuck new. Yeah. And yeah. turning up Marilyn Manson, which really loud to like let everyone know that I'm a badass and I listen <laughs> to Marilyn Manson. I'm cutting and behind this so what, wall. So what is little, did like I, every- little, little did I know that he was a fucking... It's doing weekly, right? Weirdo so too. July, July uh, 19th, the next one, huh? 1666? Yeah, 1666. To me, honestly, just watching the previews, I think that one's going to blow a lot of them out the water, man. Yeah. I like that old school. Yeah, me too. I, I like period pieces. Old school period pieces of the yeah. shit. Yeah, because yeah, it's going to show you, because it called the girl Sarah Fears. I'm like, oh, shit. She could see her Sarah Fears in the water. But she Sarah Fears. That's some wild shit. That's a dope name. The too. Twilight is coming. Sarah Fear no is shit. here. Sarah Fear. She has done put a curse on the whole I town. Love that She's shit, a witch, man. I tell you. So, what you, uh, are we taking through the Guts Factors? Take it through the motherfucking Guts Factors, bitch. Them hoes, hoes blasted the Guts Factors, man. I'm sorry, man. Yeah. So Keep one. us off the phone. Yes. 80, uh, what, what percentage? I would say. I say 85, 90%. 90%. Yeah. 90%. The, in, in, the, in the second one, um, in 78. I thought that probably could have been about 30 minutes shorter toward the end. I think what it Bro. was in 78, they start doing too much dialogue of yeah. feeling sad and sorry for Here, each other. Here's yeah. how good 94 was. I was sitting. Sleeping. In, no, I was <laughs> wide awake. I was in a massage chair with a belly full of barbecue <laughs> and my phone in my hand, and I still watched the whole oh, thing. I know. So that's 90%. And so you normally, got fucking good, like, normally when Loki gets in that chair, he's yeah, out. That's a wrap. He's <laughs> the knots start hitting the back and shit, chopping like Mr. Miyagi. You fucking done. As man. a matter of fact, know. turn the movie down. <laughs> 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 Trying to get something done over oh, here. Oh, shit. Yeah. So, uh, two. Off the rip. Off the rip. Yes. Yeah. Dude. Both of them, bro. Both yeah. of them. Yeah. But especially 94, but both of them, bro. Both of them off the yeah. rip was like, let's get it on. The but that 94 off- just brought yeah. that well, screen I think vibe. with 94, yeah. they had to do that because they had to show you, look, this ain't no bit. This is the world you in right now. Yeah. You know? We're about to show you how we get Fuck down. Fuck yeah. So, uh, with the black lights and the, and the yeah, and, man. And that killer's mask was lit. It was. But the then, cell mask. But then the killer... So he's go he's killing that chick in the thing, but then boom, the sheriff blows a hole in his yeah. fucking head. Yeah, so that's off the rip is like Dude. boom. So what we got three? Creepy slash scary vibes. Definitely. You throw in the cool kills, you throw yeah. in the witch story and, and you the, got the chase scene at the beginning. The cultist and type the fact, shit. The fact that she you know, they had to use telephones back then. It wasn't cell phones. Uh, yeah. It's like you and gotta really call the, somebody. The you know, I I, I kinda got some cool phone. vibes when like in the second one too, well, at the end they call the girl who survived yes. in the seventies, yes, and then she calls the next day and goes, "Wait, you're alive?" Yeah, and so they go check it out. I thought that was so cool, that is, man. That was that's when you know you she, you're in for. It's just like it shows yeah. you where we're going. Yeah. Yeah. But when she told her, she was like, "It's not over," and she turned around. A friend stabbed them, like, dude. Uh, and at the end of seventy eight, when there's just those bodies lined up on the, in front yeah. of the camp. 
Yeah. You know, like just eight bodies lined up. Yeah, and that shit was dope, covered man. in front of him. I was like, yo, that is dope. So bro. four is definitely kills. Kills. The kills Hell knocked yeah. it out of the park. That's yeah, what man. makes the movie. They, they, they kills did and gore. that, man. The gore was perfect. The axe yeah. going into the face was perfect. The smashing of the axe, not once, not twice, but thrice yes, on man. the same face. The, the, the creepy vibe of the, the, the scare, the gore of the killers, man. I, they showing a backdrop. Dope. Fucking perfect. Fuck yeah. So five, ending. Ended lit. Yes. Ended super lit. Especially, yeah. so the first one ended really, really dope because you didn't leave you with any questions. Yes. Yeah. Well, it left you with just enough questions of yeah. to where like you want to watch the next it one. Gave you that lane to like, but, get ready, but you were satisfied as the yes, movie's over. Definitely, which yeah. is hard to do. That's a hard balance to keep, you know. And the same thing with the other one. Definitely, man. It looks like this is this lady's debut, no like shit. her which her one? director debut no with shit. Fear Street. Yeah, hit her up. No, Yo. no, no. She did a thing called the Honeymoon. Hit her in, up in uh, 2014. Oh yeah, she's been in a little little her bag. Name, she's been in her bag. Her name. Wait, she probably was yeah. writing this like I got she's you. Wait, mother, I got mother, you, she's mother. Good. Nah. She's good at it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Her name's so, Leah Janiak. So I'm definitely. Uh, so what you give it? Like full decapitation? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anytime they cut a head off, hard to hard to fucking beat this shit. Full decapitation, man. Yeah, because you know I I loved all those Nickelodeon like yeah. shows growing up. Yeah. But to have those. Like I always wanted him to be more raw. Yeah. And so I, I was thinking like this is some goosebumps. You know, I love the goosebumps yeah. shit. Even though I'm you know, like a, an adult male, I still watch goosebumps. Or I still scary watch- stories to tell in the yeah, dark. Yeah. All that shit. I I still watch that shit. It all was the time. that, but then it took you it to took, the, you, down. took yeah. you all the way there. Which yeah, was no bro, it's fucking perfect. It's like it really triggered that like Halloween y kid side yeah. of my with of myself oh, man, but just, just, it still hey, entertained the grown man no of me that shit, sounds man. so and fucking the, and weird the covers that sounds are, so weird you the said, covers are fucking dope you said man. weenie and the Book covers, covers are dope hey you said weenie <laughs> <laughs> hey you said you said weenie i don't have anything funny to say right now but uh, yeah so we rolling on is this time for some fuckery is it time for fuckery i mean fuckery I fuck i'll burn this bitch to the ground <laughs> <laughs> is it time for fuckery <laughs> Did you guys know that there is a horror movie that has both Eminem and Vanilla Ice? Oh, shit. Golden. Really? Yes, bro. This week on Fuckery, the Hip Hop Witch. Oh, shit. Bro. You got to bring that back, Loki. Is this a real movie? Yes, bro. It it was like a publicity stunt to sell records or something. It's a total piece of shit. I couldn't even find the whole movie. I just found clips of it on YouTube. And I gotta play these clips for the audience. Wait, Amazon, I know it's got I'm my favorite sure. rapper in it. I'm a who? Uh, Prodigy from my beat. Oh, okay. I thought you said Eminem. Damn you! Are you listening to me, man? Don't fuck with the fucking witch! Oh, he, he's really concerned about this witch. <laughs> but this is... Th- this, th- this is gold right here. Watch this. This next part. That's been a lie. Oh, that is fucking nasty. There's something <laughs> of- will <fucking> have you. <laughs> oh yeah. Jesus Christ. Damn, so it's not what There's I- something about a turned up vanilla ice. No shit. That really Turnt. sends it home in the fuckery department. Man, you gotta you know really go to um He's like, oh, Ice Ice Baby, I will fucking have you. So you gotta go to Amazon maybe to get that. I don't even know. Did you try Amazon? Nope. To try to like Oh, I tried to rent it, but oh, I couldn't yeah. but I, we watched eight minutes of it and the whole time it was Eminem talking about how a witch fingered his butthole. Oh my God, that's Eminem. Yeah. Shady's back, back again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Eminem was just talking about how a witch fingered his butthole. It's called the Hip Hop Witch. That's fucking, that's fucking. Dude, wild. it was like, it was so bad. It was just a publicity stunt to, you know, sell some records. Sell records, but he had all that's his famous dope. friends like, "Yo, look out for the witch" type shit. It was basically like, remember when we did the fucking teardrop Santa? Yeah. It was kind of like that. That's dope, though. We got to bring yeah. Tidrop back. Shout out to Drew, man. Shout out to my boy Drew Marvick. But that's fuckery. Fuckery. Where'd you find that? Where'd you find the, at YouTube. least what you found? Really? YouTube. Oh, we got a little plug. We'll tell you about that laid off record. YouTube. We got a little but plug. Don't look at me with your looks of disconcern. <laughs> we got okay. a little plug. 
We no, got us no. an underground plug. Yeah. Shout out, shout out to Horror Man Cave, too. Eric knew where to get it. He. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> Eric knew where to, don't bring fuck it, with the fucking witch. Bring it back. I thought it was a boy, Michael Fish. I swear to God. You it just keeps that getting back, better man. and better on you, Guts podcast. You might not know how to do many things there, Space Viking, but you know how to entertain. That's that is, for damn That is fucking hilarious. Yeah, I've seen it. I touch baby. I yeah, so it. we go on to He's really Shoes excited. of the Week. Shoes of the Week. Shoes of the Week. I'm the rock like a volcano. Me and my partner Zaino. Hey, this is Zaino Division. It's Shoes Another of the Week. week. For your stinking ass feet. <laughs> God damn it. So we got the Air Jordan. Everybody like a twist, don't you? Everybody like a good old <laughs> twist. Twisting movies, twists in the coochie. Twist the lime. Twist the lime. Twist the palm Twist the fear. Just a twist. So Air Jordan twist, of course, folks, is dropping on 724. So get your calendars ready. Oh, that's the name of it? The twist? Yes, the Air Jordan 12 twist. It's the OG Air Jordan 12 was the first Jordan brand, even if what MJ did when then was the first of him lacing up in front of official Jordan brand model throughout 1996 and 97 season. MJ won another title, of course. Air Jordan 12 often rocking the OG cherry colorway. Nearly 25 years later, the beloved Cherry is receiving a classic twist. With the new Air Jordan 12 colorway, instead of University Red dominating the makeup of the outside upper midsole, the twist colorway reverses the Cherry. Mm, that twist. sounds like a Saturday night. Reverses the Cherry original with a clean white leather covering the upper instead of the top of the all. University red accents in the midfoot and the eyes stays complete the full twist. Got twist. These hoes fire. Boy, oh boy. Stay you twist. know what that looks like to me? What it looks got? like six hundred dollars. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's that's a fire, bro. Like, <laughs> they smell six hundred. <laughs> so they right. going for one ninety, of course. They're and all I'm seeing them now is on sneakers app. So is that orange or infrared? Nah, that's red. That's like a cherry red. Oh, that. that's dope. That's dog. fucking badass, bro. Those match, have, those match the guts. Devil's we're doing a hoodies. Patreon to those get Jordan. Match pretty much anything. They match anything because it's white, so you could play your you could play your role with that. They won ninety, of course, right now when they come out. But of course, like Low Key say and Space Viking man, please find my boy Space Viking the fourteen. Y'all playing with them, but they definitely gonna go up. They are gonna sell out quick. Pretty sure of all that. Yada yada yada. Jordan's still killing the game. Nobody waits in line more than anything for these damn shoes. And they did add Jordan Twist 190, and that's Zaino shoes. So the week. week. I got a question. What you got? So when these shoes come out, say this shoe, for example, because we're talking about the twist, right? That shit clean. Twist. How many pairs of shoes, like actual pairs of shoes, do you think they make? What they gonna do if it's if it's if it's not a like a word like a Foot Locker doesn't have them, mm -hmm. it's just sneak app. You know you don't know. You know what I'm saying? So there's the fact no that tell, you're in man. line waiting on the draw is like you don't know. But then you see some kid on the internet with a hundred pair of them. You're like, well, shit, you got a hundred. Yeah. What else is new? So sometimes they'll let you know like if it's like a million dropping. But it's like a million people. Yeah. Bro, spread it across the whole U.S. That's like Texas. Yeah. <laughs> Only, And that's not even all of Texas. So, but... At any point, like right now, I could go to Foot Locker and buy in like a basic pair of Jordans right no. now. Any Jordan that ever dropped that's like part of these releases, no. What about not. just a normal pair of Jordans? They would not would be like, stored. All Space Viking might could get lucky sometimes and catch a fourteen. But your size, like a nine, if they like somebody want them, and good luck with that. Man, it's it's so man, hard, bro. It's so crazy how it's so consistent. You remember too. back in the days, you just, just walk into the mall, yeah. At, I know. That's what I'm day, saying, bro. That shit's wild. And yeah. I don't wear Jordans. I wear like Adidas and Vans. Yeah. So I can go get Vans whenever yeah, I want. You get, boy, if, if Jordans was like in stock, like Vans, bro. It, that, but they wanted to. Be well, they like wouldn't that. be popular. They yeah. wanted to be. There's they no to famine. Be exclusive. Like exclusive. You missed out exactly. on them, and exactly. all these cool kids are wearing. So you could be like, oh shit, I got them, and then as a seller, which is dope for you, you could be like, oh shit, you want them? I just seen people bought 
online buy shit off people's feet. Ooh. I do have they the make them like baseball cards. They do have the off whites in the mall. Walking in the mall, dude. Yeah. Like I give you three hundred. Like long. like like comics oh. and baseball cards back in the day, like tradables and collectibles. Oh, you got the Mickey Mantle yeah, rookie card. Exactly. It's the same shit. Exactly, man. And they match the guts Devil's Night T shirts and that hoodies. Shirt is fire. New line t shirts. We got fire. long sleeve tees. We got hoodies. We got crop hoodies for the yes, ladies. Yes, crop hoodies. Hey, Halloween is a beloved franchise, and a lot of people have a Halloween shirt. Yes. But do you got that night before? That yes. shit's fire. You got bro. that Devil's Night. You ain't got that Devil's sick, Night shirt. Man. Yeah, who's got that Devil's Ooh, Night? Watch the yeah, shoes we talk about in a couple more weeks for those. Stinking ass motherfucker. Hey, they got some, <laughs> hey, they got some shoes for those. We got a heap on the hush, bro. They are fire. Yeah. yeah. Bro, Halloween's not far away. It's not, man. Yeah, it's, that's why I'm, I'm loading them up, up now so you can save up your dough and cop that Devil's Night. Yes. We, we rocking out on the, you know, that the night, Hallow's Eve, baby, is what, what us, what us horror goons like. It's Halloween was always dope, but Hallow's Eve that's was when we shit. were out till three. That's Devil's or, Night. Ever since the crow came out. You know what I'm ever saying? Since, ever crow, since baby. the crow Shout came out. Shout out to the crow, Fuck dog. Yeah. Shout out to Brandon Lee. Brandon Lee, man. They Skank's my boy, not here. Man. Skank's dead. <laughs> well, I feel like a big fuck, a small fucking worm on a big fucking hook. Uh, yeah. Mother is the word of God on a child. <laughs> That's fucking sick. Drugs are bad. Your daughter's waiting on you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's my Brandon Lee. It's pretty good. Sign me. Sign yeah. me. Sign me, bro. Damn, they don't even show this shit no more. I know. Oh, shit. Hey everybody, it's Loki it has me with your conspiracy theories and true crimes of the week. We're going way fucking back. You ever heard of a lady called Elizabeth Bathory? Yeah, yeah, I, I fucked her. her. Mm-mm, you don't want to fuck her. Oh. So okay, Elizabeth, who is it? This is back in 15. Maybe it's a different Elizabeth Bathory from. She was she was from um, Mo City. Uh, uh, she shit. was a landowner back in 1560. She she came from a very royal family, right? Ah, oh. pinky's up. She owned land in Slovakia. Damn. Hungary and yeah. Romania, and that was her big thing. Is she owned a lot of land? Her other big thing is she is known in the Guinness Book of World Records as the most prof- prophetic female murderer to ever exist. Oh, nice. she was the one who was drinking the blood, right? Yep. Oh, yeah, the dude. They did a movie. That's how I know about her. Is they did a movie about her. Plot twist. So, <laughs> it's do? known she was arrested for um, murdering up to four hundred. Peasant girls, yeah. young girls from uh from twelve to sixteen. Oh shit! And what she would do is she would murder them and torture them. Damn. And as they're at the height of their fear, she would kill them and drain their blood like and bathe a them and bathe in their blood. She was trying Ooh. to get, she was trying to become young again. Oh my god! Yeah, she bathed in their blood to like become. Yeah, she believed their blood made her made her, made young. her young. So she wrote the book for the. Sh- and she did it, and then she had, she had like. Little slaves, you know, so her Damn. little slaves would help her do it. Oh, wow. So, oh, where, where, like, her, so she was known to have, like, this is how they, they said in her court case that her house was a mess. And her house was a mess because her slaves and her servants didn't clean her house. They were busy out getting fucking, ooh, they were out getting victims and shit. Yeah. But here's That's the plot twist. Wow. Okay. What's the twist? The What's plot the twist? twist is twist. that. <laughs> Everything's a twist. A Everything's lot of a local ro- uh, <laughs> local um, landowners around knew that she had all that land. And what's the one way to separate her from it is make her crazy and put her in prison. So they think that she was framed just to take her land. Oh. And none of that shit ever happened. Oh, <laughs> for real? Yeah. That is fucking wild. That is nuts. Yep. Why, why do they think that? Because they wanted the land. They just want... But, I mean, it's just... That's nice. Because so they went and tortured fucking 50,000 girls? No, they just said that she did. They said she oh, did. To take it, all it never happened. It, it, it just, but and that just oh, goes to show you. There's spiracy. just as much of records. So here's how it goes. Because she was a female landowner back in the day. A female landowner. Oh, yeah. And yeah. she owned a they, lot, dude. A lot of very, very yeah. valuable land. That's exactly what happened. So the only way to separate her from it. So there's just as much literature on her being framed as there is of her actually doing it. But we only hear of her doing it because it's more interesting to us. That yeah. is nuts. You know? Man. Isn't that wild? That that is wild. Man. And that's the story of Elizabeth <laughs> Conspiracy. Hey, 
That is fucked up. If you like us and appreciate what we do, please (laughs) like, subscribe, and share. And we'll be on the two every Thursday at 9 o'clock. Check out 1900 Guts on the feed every Thursday at some point. G-U-T-S. We're not too disciplined on what time we put it out. On Instagram. On Instagram. On Instagram. And... We have a lot of good things coming up in the works. Yes. Look out for Cinco Lane. Man, it's yes. going to be so Dropping dope. Cinco Lane, October 5th. Yep. Yep. We got uh, look CFG out for, uh, Group. Shane Bradford's Country Club. We yes. got uh, The House That Eats Flesh starring Lydia Manson. We I, got a, I a lot Lydia of cool. was like the director. She produced it and she stars in it. Nice. With Drew Maverick? With Drew Marvick. Marvick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Zeno can never not say Maverick. I know, man. I always no. say Maverick. I'll tell you one thing, man. Y'all don't look for me when the sun comes up this summer. Oh, my God. It's too fucking hot outside, bro. Hey, it's man. Too it's too fucking and I, hot. Okay, it's time to get to the bottom my of this. I don't understand. Dripping all the sweat I don't understand those people that go out wearing a hoodie in 95 degrees. Man, ask them, man. That's the youngsters. They got this shit is wild, blood. bro. Got, it doesn't make shit, any they sense. They wear shorts in the wintertime. That shit's stupid. So, hey, Dude, man. I tried. I had this beanie that I really loved growing up, and I and I wore it, like, every day, and then the summer came, and I would always push it to, like, the last. Yeah. And then I just you felt like a tool for wearing it. I'm like, it's fucking 100 fucking degrees hot, in Texas. Man. Dying out there. Yeah, but you hey. don't ever need a beanie, even in the coldest month no, of December no. down nah, here. Man. But it's beanies rough. look cool. But go and like, your subscribe, email. follow everything on uh, YouTube, also Instagram. Leave us a rate and yes. review. It's and free. Our next, our next big events are coming up. So we'll, we'll start posting those yeah. more often. All we'll right. let you know. I don't know. If we, are we doing a Texas Pride Man this year? I'm uh, not sure. But we don't know. We'll definitely be at the gas but station. If you for, don't start rating and reviewing, we're gonna quit. Yeah, so. the gas station October 9th through the eleventh, correct? Yeah. And yeah. So we need your help rating reviewing so we can keep going. Yes. Do I just wanna, try to get the sympathy rate and review. Hey, do y'all want to watch Candyman? Fuck yeah. All right. Candyman. For yeah, yeah, for I'm guts on the Vizzy. Space Viking. Loki as me. Bias bangs. Space Vikings. Uh, yeah. Trying to figure shit out. <laughs> this changed my life forever.